I just got back from Sasha's birthday. And she had goodie bags and they're so cute. I'm just gonna open it. I haven't gone to a birthday with a goodie bag since like those days where you had your birthday at McDonald's and people shit down the slide at the play place. Come out. The way I've had pretty much this exact like, makeup bag in my cart on AliExpress for so long. Yes. Yes. Sail mucin. Sail mucin? Snail mucin serum. Reviving serum with ginseng. <laughs> That's so cute. Women are so cute. That was a great birthday party. Now I'm gonna finally have the smoothie bowl. has been since November last year, but it's this. This shit is so good. I got it in BC in like the mountains when I was staying with my family and it is so fucking good. And it's only a medium blend and usually I get like dark roast, but I had to get this one because it was like October at the time and it's a witch hat and I love it. This is 
a really, like this is from 2004. It shouldn't exist anymore. It comes with an old Spider-Man Panini. You know those things I was buying? Okay, you ready? I'm actually gonna come. <laughs> Wait, turn around, turn around, turn around. Yes, this is the Shrek 2 2004 trading cards. Yeah, I mean, that's Oh my oh, god, shit. I'm literally funny. It's, it's, it's. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Oh, but you got the, like, the tracker card. That's probably I have a, not good. I a gold pin that is pretty much this. That's like, so you got that one. This is telling you. Such a waste. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get any. You got the of soup scene, though. I didn't get any puss in boots. I mean, I like this one. That one's awesome. Because I can. You can Photoshop. actually just put that in your wall. I can Photoshop my face here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like perfectly my legs length away from me. Actually, a little bit farther. In my mind, I'm like five foot ten. Like if I make eye contact with somebody, I think we're the same height. Does that make sense? Like for reference, I am five two. I had this comment come up on I don't even remember what video, but it like literally had me in tears. It was so funny. Someone commented, it looks like you haven't showered in three years. And I'm like, that's on period. Cause yeah, I don't shower. And if I get to take the torch from Emma Chamberlain for like never showering, I'll happily take that. Actually, I will take that. But it reminded me of um, like a hair crisis I had. This also got me thinking down like the rabbit hole of Emma and she did this podcast episode. It was probably over a year ago. I think it was like May last year. She did this podcast episode about like her hair crisis. And I had one in June last year. Oh my god, it's actually so- like hers was a little bit worse than mine but I'm like, I'll talk about it. She talked about hers because I think, especially as women, we have a lot of identity in our hair in June last year and it's also like, I guess it's also come up because now it's June one year later and I feel a little bit more okay with my hair but I used to have black hair because I was dyeing my hair to try and look like somebody else because I wasn't comfortable who, with who I am. I had to get the black hair dye out. So I was bleaching it and I, this is crazy. Anyone that's a hairdresser is gonna be like, what the fuck when I say this? This is a judgment free zone. Please, God, just let me speak. I put bleach on my hair for three hours and it's still, you know what? I still have hair on my head. So I put bleach on my hair and obviously like I knew it was gonna turn red. So I got a toner. And like it literally did fucking nothing. It literally did nothing. And then I just like kept doing shit to my hair and like it didn't even pull out enough black. And then I was like, what the fuck is going on? <sighs> so then I like, I remember getting like the color remover and I put that on my hair twice. And it just, it didn't take out the black at all. Like it just didn't fucking come out. I mean, it kind of did. And then like it did get really red and then I was putting toner on it. It didn't fucking work. And I was just like having a fucking meltdown because I didn't have the money to go to the salon. I remember like I was doing this gradually over like a, a week, like weeks, months, two months. I was probably doing this. Like it was like when I got back from Paris, I started removing the black hair dye. And then I had a train to catch. It was sometime in June to go back. No, I was going to Toronto to go to the Toronto office or something. And literally the night before I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try this fucking toner. And I buy this toner from shoppers and it was a seven box because i'm about a seven i think i don't know as it had seven on the box and then like i put it on my hair it was an 11. they put an 11 in a seven box and it was like so late at night i hadn't finished packing my train left at 6 a.m it was probably like 11 p.m and i like put it on half my hair oh <laughs> I put it on half my hair and because it's like hydrogen peroxide, it just started like, I still had like, um, maybe like that much 
regrowth of like my natural hair. So it was like still a decent base. And I was like, I have natural hair at my scalp. That's great. I'm so happy about that. And I hadn't touched it. I just put the bleach and the color remover on like the ends. Oh. And because it was 11, it was hydrogen peroxide and it can like, it lifts your hair. So this regrowth that I had been like, literally was worshiping, um, it just started turning like orangey yellow. And it was 11 p.m. and I, I like watched it happen in the mirror and I like dunked my head like in the tub and I was like scrubbing it off, like scream crying. I went home and like my hair was, it was a little bit shorter than this at the time, a little bit shorter. And I went home and I was like, I, I just, I'm not gonna touch it again with anything. I'm just gonna accept my hair for, it didn't look horrendous. It was just like, it was very, very, blotchy and red and I didn't have the money to go to, sal to, to the salon and I almost shaved my head I almost did that but I was like it doesn't feel the worst so that yeah I went home and I was like I, I just I'm just gonna lob all, a lot of it off and I have a very specific trauma around my hair being cut off I think we all kind of have that trauma done without our consent or a lot of, I've had a lot of women say like they, that's happened in their childhood where someone like cut all their hair off without their consent. I remember I didn't, I didn't vlog. I didn't, I like hid myself for two months <laughs> because it was so short and I just didn't, it wasn't my identity. And like I had back in high school, I was really, really, really attached to my hair and I've always been a long hair girly. I've always been like down to my ass that is where my hair is just always sat. And then I realized my attachment to it was too intense. So then in the end of high school, cause it was also like about fitting in at the time, especially when I was in high school and like the cyberbullying that was going on. So I always had to keep my hair natural, long and straight. And then at the end of high school, I cut it all off. Like it was, I remember it was like touching my thighs when I sat down and I cut it to like, yeah, maybe here. And like, I did like a balayage and it was really nice. It was so pretty. I'll insert a photo if I have, if I even have one. And that was like taking my power back. And from that, the trauma in my childhood, I remember like, it was just a little too short. And I like, I remember I let go of like, cause hair holds energy. Hair holds energy. I felt me letting go of like my, self-worth and my femininity and my long hair like I, I it didn't bother me anymore eventually i let it go but it was something about my like how i feel genuinely who i am like my identity i'm like this is i don't even know if this makes sense i am a long hair girly and i think i had to let go of like my identity through femininity with my long hair but now i understand like i I identify with long hair. And there's this one scissor lyric where it's like, I want to take all of my hair down and let you lay in it, period. So this time around, like having that happen the night before, I, I was like, either I kill myself or I shave my head. <laughs> I don't know, either one. So my mom had to cut off all my hair. So it was really, really fucking short blotchy really really red and I yeah I just hid away and I remember like not wanting to wake up in the morning for about the first time I remember like finally not being scared to wake up in the morning and like I remember I didn't look in a mirror for maybe three months but I remember the first time I was actually able to like look at myself and not want to die was like October like when I went to BC I was like okay I don't want to like <laughs> do some crazy shit when I look in the mirror. So I just want to share that because I think we all go through a hair crisis and I vowed to just accept my hair exactly as it is. I think I've shared this in another vlog, like unless it's like very specific where I'm like, oh, I just want to like try out like this hairstyle or something. I'm not applying heat to my hair anymore. I'm not dying it anymore because I always, and I share this in another video, I always fucking dyed and styled my hair to look like somebody else because I hated how I looked and I hated myself. Yes, I still have, you can see, 
the blotchiness. I think something that I had a hard time accepting about my hair is like, it is really like puffy. Like it's, it's not like that like shiny, thick, long. Well, actually my hair is like not that thin. Oh, also wear a silk bonnet to sleep. Change my fucking hair. Probably saved my hair too. Because when that all went down, I was wearing a bonnet to sleep. Cause I'm like, it's gonna fall off my head. It's gonna fall off my head. I won't even have to shave my head. It's just gonna fall off my head. Hey, I made it through. I thought I was going to end my life because of it. And I, I remember I like didn't talk to anyone. I didn't uh, FaceTime anyone. Um, if I did go out, I like, I put it up. Um, it was really scary. And Emma had one similar, but basically hers actually started falling out of her head because it was like Paris Fashion Week or something. And she went red or something. And then she wanted to go dark. And then, or then she accidentally went dark brown. She's like, I didn't want this dark of hair. And so they put color remover on it. And then her hair actually started to fall out. And that was like right before like some show. And I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. I am just a girl at the end of the day and I still cut my hair with kitchen scissors and I'm good, actually. I'm actually okay with that. I planned an evening for myself and I need to finally watch the last episode of House of the Dragon because it does come out on the 16th and today's the 11th, I think. So I need to watch the last episode tonight. I'm probably, I'm gonna have a bath right now. I do wanna read some Crescent City. Oh, and I haven't had dinner. Fuck, I haven't had dinner. That's, that's the agenda right now. I sometimes vacuum, I promise.